This is a brief overview of using the new digital cone software with the Hammerable Vertec FFD module. You start digital cone. It is a beta version because it hasn't been fully verified through ASTM standards yet, but for FFD there is no ASTM standard. And we simply hit delect detect DAS. It goes through the various options, data pack found, and FFD found. Those are the only two things we have hooked up. And here's the two items we found. FFD, it tells you what serial number the insert is. Then we say OK. And it comes right up and ha uh, display three, three graphs here. And you have the option on how many graphs you want to play. And you can select that right here. You can just show two. The, op the benefit of showing just two is that you can display larger spikes on the two graphs while you're watching your results from the low and the high. So we'll take a baseline dark and we'll verify our module settings, which you don't need to worry about unless you have a module mounted on the back of a cone. Uh, in system setup, you can change how many units you have on your H and FFD display. You can make sure you're recording the information. You can change from meters to feet. And you can verify that the potentiometer is giving you one meter of travel when you move it one meter. Right now the string is all the way in at 0.13. When I pull it up one meter, it comes up to the dimension I already had. And we just say set it. And then we'll lower it all the way back down in, which would represent one meter of travel. And we'll say set. And now it knows every time you move the pot that far, that's one meter. We'll leave it at time-based, and we'll carry on. So now we're ready to take that baseline. Oh, we have to name the test, or it will not do anything. I'll call it uh, five zeros and a five for the sake of consistency, I'll name both the file and the test the same. Here you can put in operator, project, site, location, client, weather conditions. Here's where you select where the data will be saved. And we'll say OK. So now we're ready to start. So I hit Start, and we'll unclamp so I can raise the string and be ready for a start. Now we'll clamp, and as we start down, you see the depth is counting up, and the FFD is displaying these numbers on the graph. If I move the card over to the light side, you will see a significant spike, and back to the dark, and it is displaying the actual voltage. And we unclamp, and we can raise the string pot back up and clamp. And you'll notice that the speed goes green when I'm in the ASTM rate, but for FFD, that really doesn't matter. And that, in a nutshell, is taking a test with the FFD on this new software. So we're going to stop.
and we'll say yes. And now we're going to look at that data in cone plot. And we can go find, and there it is, 0, 0, 0, 0005. So we'll say open. And you see we have the two channels that we had checked off to record. They're both available to plot. And that is what we did. So in a nutshell, there is using the new software with the FFD.